Once you've resolved a data issue, it's important to immediately assess, either visually or programmatically, that the cleaning was successful. Only after confirming the cleaning works as intended should you move on to address the next issue. To streamline the data cleaning process and improve efficiency, it's a good idea to establish a well-organized workflow for the assessments or tests that follow each cleaning step. This approach is related to the concept of test-driven development, where before fully developing your software, or in our case, your data cleaning code, you think about and write tests ahead of time to continuously validate their effectiveness. This proactive strategy ensures that the cleaning process is accurate and thorough preventing errors from slipping through unnoticed. What's the difference between data assessment before cleaning and data testing, which is assessment after cleaning? So with the data assessment before cleaning, you typically use a combination of directed and non-directed assessment to find issues, but you're typically flexible, keeping your eyes and implementations open to catch different types of issues. For example, maybe in one column you detected NA values, but while doing so, you realize that NA values are also marked as hashtags, not just as NANs. You may search around to see if there are other characters like asterisks that are also placeholders for these NANs. During the data testing stage, which is data assessment after cleaning, by this time though, you already know the exact issues you're targeting with the data cleaning, so you can define very specific test cases. For example, you test directly that the number of hashtags and NAN values in your data after cleaning are zero. It's helpful to start thinking about and even writing some basic testing code during data assessment so that you can get a head start on it. Let's go over a couple of fundamental strategies on how to efficiently test if the data cleaning works visually and programmatically.